Emmanuel Martinez is a Denver native whose murals and sculpture can be seen around the city and in the Smithsonian collection of American art. As a teenager, Martinez spent time in juvenile correction, but discovering his talent, he says, is what kept him from going down the wrong path. Now he tries to do the same for a new generation of at-risk kids. This is a scrapbook that I've put together since 1964. In his scrapbook and, is the uh, story of Emmanuel Martinez, the artist, side by side with Emmanuel Martinez, the social justice activist. Starting when he was a teenager, serving a three-month sentence for juvenile offenses. He found a mentor in another Colorado artist, Bill Longley. He got me out of there, and he actually got me involved in the civil rights movement. I had to make a vow to him to become his apprentice for two years and stay clean, don't get in any trouble, and, and, uh, and, and go to school and graduate and go to college. And so he put me on that path, and I fulfilled that promise to him. Martinez became a part of Corky Gonzalez's crusade for justice in Denver and was hired by Cesar Chavez to go to California and do graphics and illustration in the early days of the United Farm Workers Movement. One of the goals I had as, as an activist, a Chicano activist in the movement, was to do artwork that, uh, you know, gives a, uh, our people, uh, you know, a, a real positive identity and, and just some historical elements that they could be proud of and may not even know about. He also began to admire the great Mexican muralists and hitchhiked to Mexico to work with one of them, David Siqueiros. I was so inspired by that experience that I, I wanted to uh, start painting murals, uh, you know, wherever I can, whether I got paid or not. I just. Uh, thought it, was a, it would be a good medium to help. And you were the first one in the city of Denver? Yes. There, were no, there was no mural activity going on in Denver. For a while, Emmanuel Martinez went to work for Denver Parks and Rec so that he had the official sanction for painting his larger-than-life murals in locations around the city. The artwork I've done in the past in these communities pretty much reflect the people that live in the communities. They're all diverse. They, you know, they're... If you look at them, there's people of uh, different ethnic backgrounds. And, and I also involve as many people, including taggers. You know, I, I, I used to try to uh, target them to get, take part in the mural so that they don't mess them up. <laughs> what I learned in, in, in my uh, studies with uh, pre-Columbia uh, philosophy, which influenced my art a lot because some of their art was very based on duality. That duality principle is something that I applied, you know, in, in, in my art. And in other words, have things that complement each other and, in turn, you know, the color, composition, a balance, you know, so, so, so a lot of my work tends to be symmetrical. By 1987, Emmanuel added sculpture to his repertoire, including an eight-foot-tall statue of Private Joseph P. Martinez, the first Hispanic American and first Coloradan to receive the Medal of Honor during World War II. I'm pretty much self-taught. I, I haven't, with the aside from just being an apprentice to a couple artists, I, I pr pretty much had to learn on my own how to the whole process of doing sculpture. His sculpture and drawing got him a job at the Art Students League of Denver, where he taught for many years. It was there he met the people who started the Emanuel Project, named after him, in which Martinez has helped at-risk youngsters in many locations by enlisting them to help him fill in the color on murals he has designed. We've already done 48 of them now, and, and they're big murals and gems and gymnasiums and we have a lot of data of, uh, before and after uh, with these kids you know those little surveys that are, that are done and they find that you know they there's a lot of their behavior uh, uh, w was impacted they ch it changed you know it helped their behavior uh, and, it, and it also even their academics improved these same kids that helped on the mural and gave a, a a sense of ownership and self-esteem. 
In his studio in the foothills west of Denver, Emmanuel Martinez is now venturing into abstract painting. He continues applying for public art commissions and, of course, traveling for the Emmanuel Project. He likes the idea of using his art to help others and reflects on his early activism with pride. I think that in many ways art getting ar arrested like we did at, at times and doing what we did in the civil rights movement uh, helped uh, open the doors for a lot of Hispanic leaders and, uh, and made some changes like the African Americans have made. Uh, in, in the area of uh, education and getting hired in some government programs and that type of thing.